It's Doug Linner with Patch of the Week. Today's focus is the Eurosurd Smooth and Step Generator. In any of its forms, the Smooth and Step Generator, or the SSG as it's known, is one of the most powerful and versatile modules ever by any brand. In simple terms, a SSG is a compound module consisting of a smooth side, which is a lag processor, a step side, which is a sample and hold, and a coupler, which is a simple comparator that compares the voltage value of the smooth and step sides and gives a high output when the step side has a voltage value that's higher than the smooth side. One of the reasons that the smooth and step generator is so powerful is the unique surge technique of patch programming. Patch programming allows a single module to be patched to produce many functions. Historically, a group of characteristics of the surge system combined to make patch programming a reality. They were AC and DC voltages not being segregated by different jack formats, using stacking banana plugs, functions were broken down to smaller function blocks, and modules were often not called by music function names. Instead, they were often named for their electronic functions. In the Eurosurge, all of that is still true with the possible exception that you could order the Eurosurge module with mini plugs. Then it's only complicated by the need for some molds or stacking mini plugs. By the way, I'm now offering patch sheets for simple concept patches that I share here on Patch of the Week, including for all of the patch programmed functions that we're going to cover today. And there are lots of them because the SSG is a patch programming monster. Look for the links in all of the usual places like YouTube, Facebook, and www.neatnetnoise.com. As you can see, I've stripped the system down to the teaser surge configuration, and I'll keep it that way until the very last patch. But before we start, let me give you the cook's tour of the SSG. The smooth side has a rate control and a scaler for the VC input. This is the input to the module. This is the cycle, that would be a pulse output. This is the smooth output, a voltage output. We have a hold here, which is very useful, we'll see. And down here on the step side, we have a rate control. And we have a scaler for the VC input. This is the input to the module, that would be what it is that you want to sample. This is the sample control, so when this uh, input goes high, it samples what's ever there. Here we have a cycle as well, and we have the stepped output. It's important to note with the cycle that, unlike the smooth side, when you have the cycle to the input on the step side, it still doesn't do anything. It doesn't cause it to automatically go into action. The step side never does anything until it sees a sample control. And then lastly, we have the coupler. And the coupler uh, takes and compares the voltage values on both sides. And if the step side is higher than the smooth side, this output goes high. So let's go on and see the patches. The first function we're going to look at today from the smooth and step function generator is how to use it as a VCO. This is accomplished by patching the cycle to the input. At that point, you have a functioning VCO. And there it is. We're using a random output to control this VCO using the VC input. That's scaled here by the input pod. We're listening to it by patching the smooth output to the audio output. The timing of the random voltage that's controlling the oscillator is provided by an envelope generator, speed of which can be controlled right here. So there you are. 
the smooth and step generator as a voltage controlled oscillator. Our next patch programmable function using the smooth and step generator is to create portamento. We're taking a negative slew that we've cycled on itself and we're using it as an oscillator and we're hearing the output directly to the audio out. The voltage control to the negative slew, which in this case is an oscillator, is coming from the smooth out of the smooth side of the smooth and step generator. The input to the smooth and step generator is a random output and that output is being triggered by this envelope generator. Let's give it a listen. So right now I have the lag at zero so that means there's actually absolutely no portamento added but as I increase the amount of lag time it will increase the amount of portamento. So here we start to hear very quick portamento. And as I continue to lengthen the lag time, the portamento becomes longer and longer. Until eventually, it's a smooth random voltage. Or it seems random anyway. It's not actually. In this patch, we use the smooth and step generator as a low pass filter and gate. That's done by patching an oscillator. In this case, again, we're using a negative slew as an oscillator by patching it on itself. We take the output to the input of the smooth side of the smooth and step generator and we take the output from the smooth out right to the audio. We're getting a voltage control into the smooth side using this envelope generator that's cycling on itself by cycling the end pulse to the start. Let's give it a listen. So here, as we back off on the rate of the slew on the smooth side of the, um, of the smooth and stepped generator, we start to limit or gate and filter the sound that's being fed through. In a similar way, if we back off on the control voltage, we're going to affect that as well. So you get both a simple gate and a simple filtering effect that's rather similar to a low pass filter that you might get from a dedicated filter. Next we see how to use the Euro Surge Smooth and Step Generator as an LFO. We are cycling the smooth side on itself by taking the cycle output to the input of the module and then we're taking the smooth out and we're taking it to the control voltage input of what we're using as our oscillator which is a negative slew that's been made to cycle upon itself we're taking that directly to the output so we're going to hear the negative slew and it's going to be voltage controlled by the smooth side of the smooth and step generator. And of course, if we alter the rate of speed of the smooth and step, we're going to 
change the speed of this LFO. So there you go. An LFO with a triangle wave output. Here's how you use the smooth side of the smooth and step generator to do sample and hold. <coughs> Typically people would think about doing it with this side and we're going to show you that too in a little bit. But uh, this is an alternative. So what we have going here is that we have a sample and hold source as the input to the smooth side. A sample and hold source is a equidistribution of, um, of pulse information and uh, voltage information and it uh, results in a fairly random result. The <coughs> sound source that we're hearing is again a negative slew that's cycling on itself to create an oscillator and we're hearing that directly out. The output of the smooth side of the SSG is controlling that oscillator and we have, and this is the key, an envelope generator cycling on itself and the window output is being used on the hold of the smooth and step generator. And the size of the window, which is controlled right here, is very important in this, and I'll show you that. But what we're going to hear right away is a functioning sample and hold being done with the smooth side. Now, if you don't have the window size correct, and what the window size is, is a variable uh, pulse width gate, and you're able to place it over the time of the voltage excursion of the envelope generator. If, if it doesn't happen at the right time, you won't hear any change. Similarly, if it's not placed correctly, you're going to hear a lot of confusion as well. So if we get that position correctly, we have a very nice sample and hold. The amount of change is controllable here by the rate. So when we lessen the lag time, we get more definition between the steps. And of course, the frequency of the steps is being controlled here by the envelope generator. Next we'll see the smooth side of the smooth and step generator being used as a clock. Again, we just cycle the cycle output to the input, causing this to cycle upon itself. Again, we're using a negative slew that's cycling upon itself to create an oscillator. And the oscillator is being controlled by the cycle output of the smooth side of the SSG. Typically this would be applied to something that would use a pulse input, for instance like the, to start up this envelope generator. But it's pretty easy to hear what's happening if you apply it to an oscillator, so that's what I'm doing here. Here we go. So you're hearing the high and the low of the pulse and there are two types of pulses that we could be taking out of here, or three actually. The cycle is one of them. And then we have these coupling pulses. And they're going to change depending on what voltage is present here. 
but you can get various effects there. A classic search patch and sound is to create a staircase generator, and that's what I've patched here. It's done by cycling the step side on itself and the smooth side on itself. The smooth side is giving the step side a sample command and then we're taking the stepped out and we're controlling an oscillator again in this case that oscillator is made from a negative slew. Let's hear it. So the speed of what is sampling, of what is being sampled, is controlled here at the rate knob on the smooth side. The distance between the steps is controlled here on the step side using the rate control. If we back it off, there will be less distance between each step until finally it becomes smooth. Classic search. This is the way that you patch, sample, and hold using the step side of the smooth and step generator. I'm clocking the sample with the smooth side, and the tempo is indicated right here on the rate. The step side is doing the actual sampling, and what it's sampling is an envelope generator that's cycling on itself. And the stepped out is going to control the control voltage in of the negative slew. We're using that as the voltage controlled oscillator. It's cycling on itself and going directly to the audio output. Right now, the envelope generator is going at a very, very high speed, and so we're going to be getting some patterns that are a little random-esque. Let's hear that. As we back off, we can get patterns that are related to the shape of the envelope. Again, the speed is controlled here on the rate of the smooth side. And the space between the samples or the range is controlled by the rate of the step side. Here's a classic search hack that can be done on lots of modules actually, but I'm going to show it to you here on the smooth side of the smooth and step generator. Typically the output is linear from the module, uh, from the smooth out, but it's possible by patching from the smooth out back to the voltage control in and then using the, rate, or the, uh, the scaler for the voltage in 
to create nonlinear waveforms. <coughs> so I call this a variable shape generator. And uh, let me show you what I'm talking about. Here you can hear the waveform going straight up and down in a linear fashion. As I mix back in the output, you can hear that the shape is now nonlinear, and you can dial in in between. We'll see that a lot on other modules. In the same way that we use feedback from the smooth out to the voltage control input on the smooth side of the smooth and step generator uh, to create different wave shapes, we can also, in the audio range, create waveform differences in the same way. So here we're going to start out with just the normal output from the uh, smooth and step generator, the smooth side. This is acting as an oscillator. If we want to change the waveform, introduce some of the feedback. And there's about the same pitch with the uh, full amount of feedback. And of course, in between, you can dial in different amounts. And you'll get different amounts of color from the waveform. You do have to go back and adjust the pitch to be the same, just as you did to have the rhythm or uh, frequency be the same, tempo be the same when it was used in the low range. In this patch, we use the coupler uh, to create a comparator that is doing pulse width modulation, and uh, we're using both the smooth and the step side to accomplish this because of course uh, the output that we're getting from the coupler is a result of the difference between those two voltage values and we're using as the actual audio out one of the coupler outputs and we're also introducing an envelope generator here that is cycling upon itself and we're using its window size, and it's a very touchy little setting for it, as the sample pulse command. So here, let's listen to this. So you can hear the pulse width modulate, and the size of the window is very touchy as I said, and let me show you what happens when it's not adjusted. So it goes away entirely in one case, or is entirely smoothed out in another case, but getting it just correct, we can get a great thing going on. Okay, the final 13th patch that we're doing today using the Serge, Eurola Serge Smooth and Step Generator is a random voltage generator. It's a very useful thing to have, especially if you're into the kind of music that Serge's and Buchla's and things like that make. And the uh, patch is actually very simple. Uh, the one thing that's uh, not complicated but required for it is that you do need to have some sort of a sample and hold source. That's a voltage source where all of the voltage levels in it are kind of equal weighted so that when you use it you get kind of an equal weighting of random uh, events. And so here we're using a sample and hold output from the noise source module and that's going to the input 
of the step side of the SSG. The top coupler output is being molted to both the step side sample input and the smooth sides input. That's actually the whole patch for the random voltage generator. If you plug those elements in, you will see the lights start to go on their own and you'll realize that you've got that happening. Now what I've done in this patch to illustrate this a little bit more is that I've taken the stepped output because we get a stepped output, we get a smooth output, and then we get a timing output, and they're all random. So I've taken the stepped output, and that's going and controlling the pitch of an oscillator. I'm taking the smooth output, and that's controlling the center frequency of a filter. And then I'm taking the timing output, which is right here, and I'm using that to control an envelope generator, which has been created by combining a positive slew and a negative slew. The output of that goes to a VCA, and the output of the VCA goes to the audio output. So let's hear it. So as you can hear, the pitch is random, the timing is random, and the center frequency of the filter is also random. So that's what we have this week. That's 13 different things that you can do with a smooth and stepped designed by Serge Trepnin back in the 70s and still being used today and newly implemented here in the 3U format by LB Designs. So what you're seeing and hearing today is a Euro Serge. Patch of the Week.